had as many as 32 children used to sit in this room. And there used to be a blackboard there and a blackboard over there. And there were two rows of uh, desks, you see. There used to be a big cupboard there that used to keep all the school books in there. And then there was a library next door. And we had uh, oh, some nice books, you know, for us. Anyhow, there's Anna Green Gables and all those, you know, that we used to like. It was quite comfortable in the summer with the windows, had them all open, you know. And, uh, the girls were that side and the boys that side. water bag hanging in that corner there somewhere. A water bag with a sort of a spout on it, you know. At one stage, there was kids everywhere. Some of them were uh, boisterous and others weren't. And the boys used to kick football. The girls would have a go too. No air conditioning and nothing was always very hot in the summertime and uh, not many children here so never could play any sport much because you had no, not enough to make a team. And there was no transport, was there? bikes and horses and walking. Oh yes, it was eight in our family so you can imagine that we kept the school going pretty well. We never seemed to want for anything. Most of the things I remember was coming to school and going home, like the plovers that swoop on you and you're going home, maybe nesting and the plovers swoop on you. We used to drive horse to sulky. And the older ones would bring us to school. They'd bring us to school. Mother probably brought us to school for a start. We had a sulky and we used to help the neighbours too when some of their little kids were first coming to school and weren't able to bring themselves. My best memories of the school were coming to school to check on the um, rabbit traps. I set the rabbit traps in the afternoon on the way home from school. The next morning I'd come to school all excited to see how many rabbits I had in the trap. I haven't really got any bad memories. There'd be a room full of chatter if they were let talk, but uh, oh, just were fairly strict. They used to use that cane, you know, if they played up too much. Give them a whack across the backside. <laughs> or on the hand too sometimes. But, uh, oh, the kids were pretty good, really. We never had any trouble with any of them. used to have the ink well, you see, for the ones that uh, had pens and that, and those, the boys used to play up with those ink wells too, and they'd flick a bit of ink around, you know, too, a bit naughty, some of the boys. Oh, some used to get a little smack on my hand too with the cane.
I can remember one day uh, the boys, I was somewhere there, I think I was, I don't know what class I was in now, and there was one of the Lipscombs there and he had a, a wart on the back of his thing. And one of the boys that were in my class, I just can't tell you who it was, he snipped that off and he snipped this thing off and it bled like a pig. <laughs> Anyway, I can never forget that. It made us feel awful, really, to think this fellow. They did that. It was a cruel thing to do. It was just one of those warts, and it stood a bit up from his skin, you know, and he snipped it off with a knife. Oh, I suppose lots of funny things happen, probably. I used to always enjoy going to the sports carnival down at Greenvale for the competition between us and Paterville. You tunnel ball and your overhead ball and your three-legged race and your jumble shoot race and your hundred metre sprint. Had a big bonfire and firecrackers and great day. We used to play Vic Row and, uh, and uh, oh, that's sort of like cricket and we'd play uh, around us, that's right. This girl and that bloke this girl and this girl and this girl and this girl and this bloke and this girl and this bloke. We always used to have a, a picnic once a year. That was on uh, in May. It used to be Empire Day. And we had a picnic and the school... Adevale was a school nearer to Borey Creek. They had students, but they didn't have as many as what we did. And we used to combine and have a picnic. And we'd have a lovely day, really. Races and, oh, racing in the sacks, you know, sack races and all sorts of things. Had a really good day. We'd, uh, our parents would uh, uh, take out, make the luncheon for us and and we'd do everything. It was really good. That was the 24th of May, as the rule that was. Empire Day, they used to call it. Hardly ever been to Borey Creek and went to Narendra now and again, but only in 1950 we went to Sydney, to Manly. When you've had such a sheltered upbringing, growing up in a country, on a country farm, you were probably innocent and naive, really. No, I think you stayed naive, really. That generation, I think we're all pretty shy. I couldn't tell you.